What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I got to talk about D-Wade. Okay. D-Wade has been in the news because he is deciding to move his family out of Florida due to what he feels like an unsafe environment for his quote-unquote daughter, Zaya Wade. Okay? Now, just recently at a New York Knicks game, uh, he was heckled and people are asking, why did he do what he did to his quote unquote daughter? You see, this is my problem with people like D Wade. Okay. D Wade is nothing more than a tool of these weirdo liberals in media and in corp in, in a lot of these corporate companies as well that want to push certain narratives as far as transgenderism, Again, I, I'm not here to talk about uh, how D. Wade should raise his children, even though I, I disagree with how he's raising his quote unquote daughter, which is actually his son. I disagree with not only that situation because the mother, the biological mother of his son is, uh, I, I just don't agree with it. You know, you're trying to push something forward that the mother doesn't agree with that's a very selfish thing to do and you have become a complete tool of these weirdo liberals it's in holly weird and in, in media that's why the media is, is, is self-destructing right now i just think d wade overall his influence i feel like in trying to steer because it, it feels to me that D Wade is using his son to gain opportunities for himself to be seen as a leader. Cause all these celebrities, all these weirdo celebrities want to be seen as somebody who's fighting for something. But when, when really you're just fighting to push propaganda, that's all you're doing D Wade. And you're becoming more and more of an embarrassment. You're, you are, you used to be seen as someone to respect. You raising your sons on your own. Then you met Gabrielle Union and, and everything went to shit. Is it any coincidence? I think not. She, it, it, I feel like Gabrielle Union got with D-Wade. And I don't know how she did it. But she was able to convince him to become a rainbow warrior. Now, again, I don't care how, you know, if you are part of the alphabet community and you choose to date someone of the same gender, it is what it is. Just don't push your lifestyle onto other people. Don't be out here talking about how a fully grown man could put on a dress and a wig and could walk into a woman's bathroom and use it. Okay. Women competing in men competing in women's sports is a joke. It really is. And I feel like a lot of people in the alphabet community need to see what's going on. Your orientation is being used to push politics your orientation has been politicized you have people who uh may have transitioned they're not out here trying to tell everybody that this narrative should be pushed they're just transitioning because that's what they choose to do that's a choice right they feel like they should be something else but they live their life you know without trying to preach <laughs> preach <laughs> without trying to propagandize other people but what we have here is a guy in d wade who had a storied career who has become a joke you're getting heckled nobody respects you nobody d wade and now you're talking about moving your family to another state i guarantee you it's california i thought he was already living there i mean he fit right in with the rest of the hollywood weirdos he fit right in there I truly believe that Gabrielle Union was a bad influence on D Wade. This marriage is a marriage made in hell. <laughs> I mean, look at what's going on. Look at what D Wade is pushing him and Gabby Union. And you know what the funniest thing about this is that Gabrielle Union is still, is still mad that he had a side baby when they broke up. She's still upset about this. 
she's still upset about the fact that he had a side baby. Maybe this is why she's speaking out about how she used to get around in Hollyweird. Right before she right before she got with D Wade. <laughs> wink wink. <laughs> you know, I've never seen so, you no, know, this couple to me is it's like it's the black liberal elite of 2023. The boule, so to speak. The people who are willing to be the foot soldiers of stupidity and propaganda. And that is what D Wade has become. You're not fighting for anything. You're raising a confused son. And you know what's you know what's what's really crazy is that D Wade's son uh, apparently is in a relationship with a transgendered um uh, female that became male. Like that that's that's where we are with this. This is how deep down the rabbit hole that we are going. And I look at this so uh, this marriage uh, made in Hollyweird. I'm not going to go as far as say, you know. <laughs> I'll say you have a marriage, a match made in Hollyweird. Here you got Gabrielle Union, the Hollywood actress. She's been in Hollyweird for over 20 years, right? Talked about how her first marriage, she had no respect for her ex-husband. She used to cheat on him all the time. Why not, right? And then D Wade links with her as if she's his handler. He has these three young boys that he's raising. Two of them escaped this fate, but one of them did not. And it was the youngest one. And I, and, and when I step back and I look at, you know, what D Wade has become, this guy's literally talking about, I'm leaving Florida. I'm, I'm grabbing my purse and I'm leaving Florida. This guy's literally grabbing his purse. He's grabbing his purse and he's leaving Florida. That's basically what he's saying. He's getting his purse and he's leaving Florida because of what he feels like a law is going to be unjust towards his transitioning son. This is where we're at with this. This is the joke that he, I know Gabby Union thinks this guy's a joke. I mean, <laughs> you're going to move your family out of Florida because you feel like there are policies that are going to have a negative effect on your transitioning son. D Wade has become an absolute joke. He's become an absolute joke. I don't know how you could take this guy seriously. I mean, I don't, I look at it for what it is. I see a guy that's trying so desperately to be accepted into the Holly weird elite. Cause that's what it looks like to me. D Wade, who are you actually fighting for? Is your son living the life that you wanted to live? Is that's what it is? Because this stuff is deeper than what we think. This stuff goes a whole lot deeper. The fact that this guy wants to now go and leave the state because he feels like it's not going to be a good environment for his transitioning son, which is a joke to me. It really is. I think that D Wade is somebody who has become, he went from being a good influence on his sons to being a horrible influence on his sons. How do you get to that point where you're getting heckled at Knicks games? Not because you're an opposing player, you know, you're opposing, you, you know, you play for the heat, right? They're heckling you because, you know, you, you used to, you know, kick their ass with the heat, but nah, you're, you're a joke. D Wade, you become a joke. You have become an absolute joke. That's what you've become, D Wade. And D Wade, you have pushed this forward to make yourself be this. All right. Let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. This was according to TMZ. Like, look, this is just an absolute joke, right? D Wade, dad is uh, to trans uh, transgender daughter, says he no longer living in Florida, despite being a legend in the state, thanks to what he believes are restrictive policies infringing on the rights of the LGBTQ residents. The 41 year old basketball hall of famer recently sat down with Rachel Nichols for her headliners. When he revealed he no longer a resident of the sunshine state. That's another reason why I don't live in Florida. A lot of people don't know that. 
D-Way responded when Nichols asked what message he'd send to state legislators. The three-time NBA champion continued, I have to make decisions for my family, not just personal individual uh, decisions. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and many state level uh, lawmakers have passed controversial legislation, including the so-called Don't Say Gay Bill, amongst other laws and Wade flat out says his family wouldn't be comfortable. Well, good. They need to get the riffraff out of Florida. Florida, we need more of this. I mean, I don't live in Florida. I mean, you know, it'd be an interesting place to live. Why not? You know, I, there's a certain place there that's in my sights. But we, you need to get that type of person out of your state. If D Wade wants to leave, leave. Get your purse. Get your get your makeup bag. You know, say so make sure you get all your heels and your and your flats. And, you know, you know, pack your bags and leave. Bye. I mean, I, I don't think they're going to miss you, D-Wade. I mean, you've become a joke. You know, obviously the taxes is great. Having Wade County is great. But my family would not be accepted or feel comfortable there. And so that's one of the reasons why I don't live there. Uh, Wade told Nichols. Of course, D-Wade's 15-year-old daughter, Zaya, came out as transgender in 2020. She still legally changed her name, but she since legally changed her name and gender. Wade has been very outspoken in his support of his daughter. The Wades aren't alone in leaving the state, despite an influx of, pe of people moving to places like Florida, Texas, and Tennessee in the past few years. Many have already left those areas. Oh, they have. So you telling me that all those people that fled California have left? I'm. Uh, that's great. Okay. All those blue voters, if they have moved back to California, then that is a great thing. Okay. That's great for Texas. That's great for Tennessee. That's great for Florida. Okay. Wade ultimately played 15 seasons in Miami, delivering three NBA championships to South Florida. Now he's gone. It's unclear where the Wades have decided to lay their heads. But listening to number three, it's likely far away from DeSantis. Well, I don't think DeSantis gives a shit, D-Wade. You're one of many people who have lived in Florida and have benefited from no state income taxes. Try going to California where there's a shit ton of taxes. That's probably where he is now. Maybe he maybe he's living in New York. That's why he was in New York. But um, honestly, D-Wade, uh, the decisions that you have made, I just feel like they weren't the right ones. But again, I'm on the outside looking in. You have, you know, you're the father here. But ultimately, you trying to virtue signal is what's getting you mocked. So what that you left Florida? Who cares? You left Florida with your weird wife and your, your weird marriage and your, your weird family. I don't think the people of Florida are going to lose sleep over you leaving. You have become a joke. You are a virtue signaling loser. That's what you've become, D-Wade. And it's sad to see a man who, as a black father, took the raising of his children into his own hands, but ultimately, you have seen yourself become the villain in this situation, D-Wade. You are not the hero. You are the villain. So let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you all next one.